How's it going guys? We picked up some new camera equipment so I figured it would be a perfect opportunity to kind of give y'all an update on the V8 swapped FDRX7. So let's get to it. But all right, we picked up the GoPro Hero 9. Um, I don't know much about it, so if you're looking for like a really detailed breakdown of this camera, you probably better go somewhere else. But if you're just looking for an out of the box, how does it work? If you don't know what you're doing, you're definitely in the right spot because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, for the car guys, this is actually the second time this car has been painted. It's not coming out as bad as I was thinking it was going to, considering that we're painting and you know up under an awning with just plastic kind of draped around with holes all in it. I just wet the ground, the ground down and painted the car. So it actually turned out pretty good, all things considered, but I'm searching for perfection and I'm never gonna get it, but I'm gonna sand the car one more time and actually paint it or try one more time just to kind of get a little better quality. Uh, Cause there are some rust spots as you've just heard. But anyway, I'm gonna flip it around and let you guys check it out. Hey guys as you can tell we got this thing painted top bottom inside out where <laughs> we got white paint on everything which is exactly what i wanted um like I, said, I wanted to paint the roll cage i thought it would be kind of cool if the roll cage was like really like i don't know just a really like hot kind of crisp bright red i thought it would stand out against all this white but with all the craziness with the idiot that put tried to put the roll cage I mean, tried to put the roll cage in the car and we have to go back and fix it um, like I said, I have some welds in here I'm not very proud of, so I really don't want those standing out. So I figured I would just paint it all white, and it blends in nicely and looks pretty good. So, but I'm really pumped with the way the car's turning out. Like I said, I don't think the paint come out too bad. It could probably buff, you know, buff this up, and it'd look probably fairly good. But uh, I don't want to start with a bad paint job and then, you know, buff it up to a, a decent paint job. I want to start with a decent paint job and buff it up to being like a good paint job. That's what I'm hoping for. But I don't think it's that bad. And like I said, this roof skin, like I said, I cut this off and replaced it. And like I said, it's it's perfect. There's a lot of body work that was done to this car. Um, the uh, antenna I shaved that. I don't have the hatch out here, but the hatch, the wiper, and the uh, window squirter all that stuff and where the wing was those holes filled in so this thing's had a lot of work done to it it's turning out pretty good i'm really pumped but all right guys i guess that's gonna be pretty much it like i said uh if you want to see more content make sure you click that dumb mode down there in that corner subscribe share all that good stuff um like so we still have the mustang project going on the 350z uh the v8 fdrx7 or ls swap fdrx7 we got the half bridge port single turbo fdrx7 Got a lot of stuff going on. It's very time consuming. So please show some love if this is stuff you want to see. But like I said, the car's turning out pretty good. Um, you know, if y'all want, I'll start being a little more detailed when I'm, like I said, 
film, filming his videos, but it's like I said, it's time consuming, so it takes some effort. <laughs> but anyway, I appreciate you guys for watching. Like I said, I just want to give you a quick update on this thing. Um, and as far as the camera goes, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, seems to work pretty good. I don't know. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for today. Uh, maybe next time we'll uh, get this thing, actually get the paint completely done and uh, start putting it back together. But, all right, I'm out here, guys. Appreciate it.